皆さんこんにちは。Welcome to 英語ファイル。今回はですね、英検1級の重要同意語をいくつか紹介して、それぞれの微妙な違いについて解説をしていきます。ということで早速なんですけど、今から画面に10個単語を出しますので、意味が似ているような単語を全部選んでみてください。それじゃあ早速どうぞ。All right, how did you do? So, how many words were there with similar meanings? The answer is four allay, assuage, alleviate, mitigate. Did you get them all? So, these words all kind of mean to lessen something or to reduce something. And because they have very similar meanings, they are often interchangeable.、Um, but what I'm going to do now is introduce some of the more common ways that they are used. Uh, so, the first one is allay, and this has been the answer in the real test once before. And it's commonly used、um, to mean to make a negative emotion less severe,、uh, especially fear, worry, concern. Okay, so here is an example sentence that I made. The president tried to allay public fears about the dangers of the new virus. Okay, so obviously, with this new virus going around, everyone was very scared. So, what the president wanted to do was to say to everyone, No, it's okay, it's okay, it's not that dangerous. So, he's trying to allay people's fears. Okay, make the fear less severe. That rhymed. <laughs> okay.、Um, So, the next one is assuage, and this has also been the answer in the real test once before.、Um, and this is also often used when you want to say that a negative emotion becomes less severe. And maybe in particular, the emotion of guilt, so feeling bad about something that you did. So, here's an example There was nothing he could do to assuage his guilt. And regret. So he might have committed a crime and he felt really bad for doing that and he's trying to make himself feel better, but nothing he, he tries works. Okay, he tries to listen to music, he tries to apologize, and nothing he tried worked. Okay, so that's assuage. So a lay and assuage are very similar in that they're mostly used to talk about emotions. Now, the next one is alleviate, and this has also been the answer in previous tests once before. Now, this has two common usages, in my opinion.、Uh, the first one is to make physical pain less severe. So, for instance, regular exercise can help alleviate back pain. So, the more you exercise, the back pain goes away and you feel good. So, that's the first way. And the second way, Is to make bad situations less bad.、Um, and it's especially used with the word poverty. And of course, poverty is a bad situation.、Uh, so here's my example Education is the key to alleviating poverty. All right, so it doesn't mean to completely solve poverty, it just means、um, to make the situation a little better. Okay, and finally, Mitigate. Now, this has actually never been the answer in the real test before, but who knows, maybe one day it might.、Um, so, this often means to make the bad effects of something less severe. So, for instance, we need new policies to mitigate the effects of climate change. Okay, so what are the bad effects of climate change? Well,、um, hotter temperatures, rising sea levels, right? So, what can we do? To reduce the bad effects of those things. All right, so、um, that's it. <laughs> so the words again were allay, assuage, alleviate, and mitigate. All mean to lessen or to reduce something, 
but each have their subtle differences. All right, so I hope you found today's lesson enjoyable or useful or both. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Um, I'll be releasing another video next week, so please look forward to it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.